Good evening to all my wonderful viewers out there and welcome back to another streetwear talk video. In today's video, I'm going to be covering all my thoughts and opinions on Undercover by June Takahashi's Spring Summer 2022 Once in a Lifetime Lookbook. Now some of you are probably like, what? What do you mean once in a lifetime? Do you, do, is it like a like an art exhibition? Like you can go through it once and then you're never allowed back in it ever again? Like what the hell do you mean? <laughs> well, no, just a little bit confusingly, the spring summer 2022 season, the men's ready to wear season, is called the once in a lifetime collection. And in today's video, I'm going to be giving you my thoughts and opinions on the lookbook for that season. So a bunch of models wearing pieces from this upcoming season. Now, the reason that I'm deciding to do this video now was actually because of my previous video. So when I unboxed this uh, undercover fall winter 2021 knit sweater here, I went back to the uh, boutique page to have a look at all the other pieces from the season to see if they were going to be discounted or not. And I got blocked off. Matches Fashion has now posted on their undercover page saying, hold up, we're getting the latest season in and then we're reloading the page, you know, provide your email and we'll give you updates, etc., etc. Now, I don't think it's the ready to wear that they are stocking in their store. I think they're stocking the spring summer 2022 uh, undercover, uh, undercoverism, the sub label, the diffusion label. I think they're stocking that, but that little notification that matches fashion posted on the page inspired me to kick it in gear and hurry up and start covering the lookbook for the latest season because if the diffusion line or the uh, sub label is releasing already well the ready to wear stuff the you know the main the main stuff so it's going to be come around pretty soon <laughs> so i better hurry up and cover the lookbook for that ready to wear stuff and that's what we're going to be doing in today's video we're going to be using the undercover page and we'll dive through all the looks that they have showcased in the lookbook i'll give you my thoughts and opinions on everything the colors of the piece the silhouettes my favorite pieces that i'm looking at we'll go through it all let's head on over now to that page and start covering this spring summer 2022 lookbook and here we are at the undercover page showcasing the spring summer 2022 lookbook it's all laid out here as you can see although it does feel a little bit weirdly laid out having it just on one half of the screen <laughs> uh, I, I understand why they chose that and we'll dive into why they chose that uh, decision to just have it on one side in a second but here we are I don't know how many looks there are in this oh no here we go so there are 47 looks in this uh, spring summer 2022 season so we will see 47 outfits uh, from the season showcasing the pieces will it showcase the entire season well no imagine if a lookbook had to showcase the whole season there'd be like 10 bajillion looks <laughs> to look at it'll just give us a broad idea of how the season's shaping up and what it'll look like i'm kind of keen i don't know what to expect i've only seen like a brief photo or two when this lookbook was first posted like way back in 2021 apart from that i've not seen all the looks so I have no idea how this is all going to turn out. Let's get into it. Let's see how it looks. Scrolling down to look one. This is the reason why they have the other half of the page blank. For look one, they highlight all the, all the pieces that are showcased in this look. Kind of like how Kith does it, how they have their interactive lookbook, where you can click on the individual pieces and you can, you know, be transferred to the store page to buy said piece if it's still in stock. Undercover does this. So if you come back maybe a couple of years later and you're like, wow, damn, that cap there is absolutely fire. I love it. Oh my God, I want it. You can come down to the hat and find the item code there and look up the item code into Google and find any online boutiques that have it in stock. So it is pretty handy. I understand why they split it off. There. It does kind of work, but kind of make it a little bit difficult to cover at the same time. 
<laughs> so this first look, we get this very big, I, I don't even know what the material would be, nylon, polyester probably, kimono jacket there that goes really, really far down. It goes down to basically the calf area. We get some very basic looking sweaters and pants. There's nothing too crazy there. I'm sure the material will be high quality. Undercover will deliver on that. I'm not expecting any of these pieces to skip out even though they're very basic pieces I feel like they'll be very solid. Hey look if any of these nice little basic pieces, you know come for a nice price I'm not gonna say no to them <laughs> or if they appear in any Japanese boutique secondhand for an even better price Well, you know, I'm gonna be there <laughs> The first look I mean doesn't blow me away. I mean the jackets cool enough I'm just worried. It's gonna come out to thousands and thousands of dollars. I kind of hope that it's transformable that we can, you know, I see some zips here. I hope that we can like unzip it, change the silhouette in some way, shape or form. I don't know if you can, but the zips kind of give me that idea that you can in some way. I don't know. We'll have to press on and see if that's the case. Next, we get showcased to us a more standard overcoat. It looks like that's the Shepherd line as well that they have. Nothing too crazy being highlighted here that's really got me excited. Normally, I get really excited about the outerwear that releases in the seasons, but nothing too wild at the moment. The glasses are kind of cool. I think I would go for something like in the black just because it's more versatile. Don't know about the cream ones. I just don't feel like I could wear those with a lot of fits, but I really like how thin they are. They're like really, really thin. They kind of look like the um, like Eskimo uh, sunglasses in a way. Moving further down, we get various different colored pieces that are very similar to the second look that we got showcased here. We've got a tanned version of the same pants, the same sandals there, and a different overcoat this time round, but in that same color uh, with the matching glasses. The glasses look nice with the all one color fit, but I just can't see myself wearing all one color. The overcoat's quite nice though. I like oversized fit on the sleeves there, how it goes past your arms. That reminds me of my all winter 2021 trench coat. These sleeves are really long. I love that. I love oversized sleeves. I think it's really sweet. I like the pockets that they come in. They don't protrude out. Put them in. They're not sticking out of the piece. That's really cool. And there's even a pocket right up at the left breast there. Oh my god. <laughs> Imagine rocking up like this. Crazy. That Komodo jacket is wild. It, it's more wild in the brown, in the like hand beige color, this, whatever this color is, than it is in the black. Cause I feel like with the black, like you can get away with it. But when it's a color like this, God damn, that's loud. Like it's just so flowy though. I feel like it'd be mad comfy. Like if it's, if it's like polyester exterior and then some super comfortable liner, I feel like because it's so baggy it would be so comfy it feels like you're just in like a blanket all the time you just want to go for a snooze that's okay you got your overcoat uh kimono here it's kind of a vibe it's gonna be dumb expensive though i gotta be real like it's gonna be thousands of dollars but i mean maybe that secondary market price will be okay moving into wow okay a trench coat that's done with very transparent material except for where the button closures are and the pockets are that's what you can see through it so you can see where the pockets are and then you can see the button closure but everything else is transparent and see-through it's going to be lightweight that's actually a trench coat that you could wear in the spring summer season just because of how breathable that's going to be that's not going to be heavy at all it doesn't even have a lining to keep you super insulated like if a gust of wind comes through it's gonna come through you but that's handy for spring summer, you know, you don't usually get to wear overcoats in that season. Undercover's got you covered though. You can definitely rock it. Um, it seems to be so far in the look, we're just getting different variations of the outwear uh, overcoats at the moment, but maybe they'll spice it up. Is that the same one? I can't tell. It looks like there's a hood though. So is this, just, let's have a look. So we've got the 307-2 for the coat. Yeah, I see 306-3. So they are two different coats here. This time we get more of a fishtail parka inspired trench coat with the detachable hood here. I mean, it depends on really which style you prefer. If you prefer the trench coat styled, uh, or if you prefer the uh, fishtail parka style. I think I'd be leaning more towards this one on look six, but I don't know if you guys feel the same way with that one, but I do like the coat more from look six than from look seven. We've got a very nice colored uh, trench coat there. Same one as the, uh, the tanned one we saw just up top there. We've got some 
I mean, I was about to say it's an MA bomber just because of how the hem is in the pockets, but then you look at the neckline, you're like, yeah, that looks more like a windbreaker. Um, some cotton shorts by the looks of it. Very interesting color palette this season. We've got a very oversized button-up shirt here. Look at it here. Wow. Uh, the glasses make an appearance. I think every single... Has the glasses been in every single photo? The glasses have been in every single photo. <laughs> I think that's going to be the big selling point this season. The glasses for the Spring Summer 2022 season. Yeah, damn. I mean, the cuts are nice. I love how they do this bomber style in, in, in undercover seasons. They always do it really, really, I don't want to say cropped, but it's short. It's not really elongated. And that was apparent when I bought the Spring Summer 2020 Cindy Sherman bomber jacket because that's not really long, but it's like the perfect length I don't know how he uh, Jun Takahashi does it, but he gets the length right on those bombers every time uh, The I don't know about the neckline though. I don't know if I like the tracksuit version of this like this this Combination of tracksuit and bomber jacket together. It's not really hitting too much for me on that one the button-up uh, like this button-up t-shirt is done in the style of like a Parker of a like a windbreaker type deal because look at the material it looks very like polyester based it doesn't look like it's made out of cotton that's kind of crazy actually like that use of material and style applied to a button-up t-shirt it kind of works look it's even got like the little drawstrings down the bottom there there's different variations of it so we can see the back and front of it there so there's the big graphic on the back of it it's going to be super breathable because look how huge those sleeves are you know gust of wind comes in you're going to stay nice and cool gonna blow you up like a big balloon <laughs> but i mean yeah comfy that would be really nice to wear in the summertime for sure we've got a hoodie which damn look at the detail it goes into so the hoodie has a crew neck sweater neckline but then it has a hood off to the side and it's kind of like those vintage hoodies that you see where the uh, hoodie doesn't come all the way around to the front of the neckline and connect like modern day hoodies do it's got a pocket on the left arm, dropped shoulder, it's got two zips up the front, which Jun Takahashi's been doing for a couple seasons now on the sweaters and stuff. Uh, it's got that big graphic on the front. I kind of wish it didn't have the graphic on the front, and this is coming from Dan the Graphic Man. I love graphics on my pieces, but I would have loved just the piece to be highlighted for its shape and like all of its details there. It's a sweet piece though. If that hoodie comes across in like a nice price for me, I mean, I'd say no. <laughs> I mean, it can, but yeah, no, I mean, that's dope. That's a dope piece. I like that. That's cool. So we've got a cardigan. Okay. Done in this a very oversized looking fit with how the sleeves are. Because look, it almost covers up to the whole hand. Crazy. Um, the material, I mean, I could wear that. It's got four buttons. Quite a, it's a very long piece. Look at it. Look, it goes almost halfway down the thigh. That is a long piece. It's going to be long. I hope it comes in other colors. I'd be keen on it in maybe other colors. But yeah, wow, that's a very, very long cardigan. I think we get it showcased in the same color here. No, black. Okay, so this is the beige color of the cardigan. And then over here, we've got the black version of the cardigan. Okay, okay. Ooh, does it come in this red color though? Damn. So we got, this is a different silhouette, I think, because B4902, yeah, B4903, 901. So this is the different variation of it here. I like the color of that one though, the red. That's kind of a vibe though. If I can have that red color on the long one in look 12, I'm down. I'm down for that. But uh, yeah, that hoodie cardigan here, that's kind of a vibe. It's got the button, it's got the zip closure though. I don't know if you guys are a fan of that. I'm very on the fence about zip closure hoodies, but I wish that color was on the other ones. We've got some very nice pieces underneath it uh, that uh, all one color so that really like makes the cardigan stand out <laughs> yeah wow um that's crazy that's a crazy piece the bear i really like the pants as well they're really wide i mean they wouldn't be as wide because i got huge ass legs but like they look nice on this dude i wish they looked that nice on me damn that's that's kind of a vibe got more of the shepherd stuff being showcased here got a blazer we've got a what's that underneath it inner top that's probably the, no it wouldn't be the jacket no okay yeah that is the inner top i guess and then there's the shirt which would be underneath yeah crazy not really i mean i don't really go for the tailored kind of look so that isn't necessarily what i'd be wearing same with this look here that's not necessarily what i could see myself wearing but it does look very very nice we've got that shepherd overcoat's quite nice i like the colors and patterns on that 
It looks to be like some kind of tartan pattern that's very, very like not in your face. It's very, very um, hidden away. We've got a very nice overcoat being showcased to us again. Then more of a formal style, like a coat meets a blazer type deal. Very nice, very nice. We've got same type deal, but in the brown. I like how big it is. Look how wide that fit is. I mean, maybe he's just like dumb, dumb skinny, but like that looks wide. That looks like there's a lot of room in there, which is awesome. A lot of room for undergarments and layers and stuff. I'm fully on board for that. Just a basic sweater with a very contrasting zip on the side there. That could be kind of cool, depending on which color combinations it comes in. Like at the moment, we've got this navy and red zip, but I mean, if it comes in some other colors, you know, I mean, I'm down for that. We got some denim releasing this season, not too shabby. Ooh, just a nice like red knit. Hopefully that kind of gets overlooked and I can find that in a nice size five there. We've got, oh, there we go. Nike Undercover Air Force Ones releasing in this season. I don't know if many people are talking about that, but Undercover is collaborating with Nike as they always do. And they are releasing Air Force Ones this season in a, what looks like white and like a gray color on the up on the like on the uh, upper there but it looks like it's a different material as well i would love a close-up of them but yeah we'll have to see how that comes in got a very nice knit sweater there that's really solid nice little basic piece yo what is this thing what is this thing this huge like parka with the hanging down like rope here what is that bag? Is that like a different thing? Shoes, socks. Yeah, okay, the bag is its own separate thing. I thought the bag was like a part of the jacket here. I was gonna say like, what the hell is this thing? <laughs> yeah, no, that's crazy. I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna gravitate towards that kind of jacket though, because I don't like the color and the material, but I like the contrasting like black zips and detailing there and stuff. That looks kind of cool. We've got a shorter version of it with the bag. We've got uh, some very fancy looking shoes down there. We've got, ooh, hello. Nice. We've got this zip up tartan hoodie, but then on top of that, it's got a second layer to it that you can remove. We've got a, oh, okay, okay. Hold up. We've got the tartan jacket, because it's got a collar. We've got the tartan jacket. Then as a layer that you can detach off the top of it, we've got the brown hoodie. That's sick. That's cool. They they undercover's been doing that for a while, and it was they did it with like the piece that could transform into like four or five different pieces in the last season, in the 2021 for winter season. Uh yeah. That's kind of I want I want to see the other colors that comes in. I hope it comes in like a red tartan with like a I don't know, like a black hoodie that you can detach off of it. Ooh, that would be sick. That would be sick. I hope that's the case. Oh no! <laughs> it's a grey tartan with the or grey plaid with the red hoodie. Uh, I wanted like the red with the black hoodie on top of it. That would have been such a sick color combination. But it probably doesn't like align with the rest of the season, I suppose. Yeah, it's a cool premise for a jacket though. Like the hoodie is on the outside, kind of like a, I don't know, like a scarf or just something to throw over the top of it, but then it's actually part of the piece, but then it can zip off the piece. It's kind of wild, man. It's, I'd love to see like the back of it. Too bad there wasn't like second photos we could click over to to see how it looks on the back. It's like grid pattern trench coat and then a wind, uh, windbreaker over the top of it there. That's a lot of layers. I don't know how this man is not sweating. Uh, we have, I guess, the same piece showcased to us. Let's have a look. 42051. We've got, I don't think so. Yeah, 43041. I can't tell if they're connected or not. They don't look connected. Oh, actually, no, I was about to say they don't look connected. But I see a zip along here. They are connected. So you get a two for one jacket. Kind of like how this hoodie uh, jacket combo is here. That's kind of crazy. That would look really cool, like zipped up. I like that. That's kind of cool. This one as well. I like the pockets and the like the utilitarian vest that you get over the top of it here. And if you don't like the jacket underneath, where well, you can just zip off the vest and just wear the vest by itself. Like you don't need to wear it with the jacket. So really, you're getting two jackets for probably the price of three jackets. <laughs> but I mean, you look cool, I suppose. Yeah, that's kind of dope. Wow, crazy. 
We've got more of them making an appearance here. We've got the trench coat with the vest that you can unzip over here. That's kind of wild. A tracksuit releasing this season. I don't know if I vibe with that print though. I like the fit though. Look how baggy those arms are though. That's crazy. Even the pants look super baggy. I just don't know if I vibe with that print though. Like, look at that. It's, I, I, I like them single colored, you know? It uh, looks like we're getting another East Pack collaboration. It seems to be the case there. There you go, East Pack. So we're getting another East Pack collab just like the last season. I wasn't a huge fan of that type of stuff. I was kind of like, oh, it's kind of cool, but I don't need an undercover one. So I kind of skipped over it. I was like, yeah, it's all right. It's okay. Uh, we've got more East Pack stuff by the looks of it. This time it comes in a camo this season. Again, eh. Um, we've got more of it, a hoodie with this like digital looking camo with the grid underneath. It's kind of a crazy all over print. Comes in a hat with the pants. Again, not an East Pack kind of guy. It's like, eh, it's just not something I would wear. Or I say that and then I look at this sweater and I'm like, damn, this is kind of cool. <laughs> so we got this nice heather gray sweater crew deck sweater with like these two big pockets down near the, the like the uh, intestinal area there i suppose down near the waist area almost that's kind of cool because i know it's going to be cotton and that's like a material i would wear that's probably my favorite east pack piece that's releasing this season oh okay here's where we get the zoom ups of the air force ones okay awesome i'm glad that they did this we can see it's got like a back panel here it's got Nike Air on the top, undercover down the bottom. You got that uh, galaxy looking midsole that Jun Takashi loves to do. Then, if you're not a fan of that color combo, you've just got the white in the background, all white. It's got a sock liner on the inside of it, which is kind of funky. That's kind of crazy. And then we've got this like all over hands print one. <clears throat> I'm gonna be real. The first two, the ones that are showcased in the front, uh, not for me the, the prints and the colors not for me i think you guys are probably going to agree as well the best color is the easiest color to wear <laughs> which is going to be that all white color in the back there the sock liner is like a crazy idea i don't think i've seen air forces with sock liners in them before like that uh the back panel there as well with the strap is really wild um i'd love to know what material the upper's made of but what a wild uh collaborative sneaker for this season that's that's pretty crazy i can't believe they went and did that we've got the boots being showcased to us as well they're cool but i'm never realistically going to be able to fit into them oh okay okay so this is the this is the collab with an artist so this season we've got artwork by manabu detto and this art piece here is called uh ogre you asshole <laughs> okay i actually kind of like it i like the like the oversized fit i love the graphic on it i think i'm gonna be you know it was marcus the keys in last season this season hey yo <laughs> manabu dito i mean i'm vibing We've then got, uh, oh, okay. So this is the a very, I like this like salmon color that we've got here. I mean, that's kind of a vibe. If that comes in a good price, it's going to be an overcoat. So it's an overcoat, so it's going to be dumb amounts of money. But if it's, you know, if it's a good price, I wouldn't mind it. I would still pick up the Marcus Akeeson overcoat uh, over this one here. But I like the colors on it. I like the embroidered co-branding on the left breast there. The silhouette's really nice. The shape, the oversized look, you know, look at it coming down past the, uh, the wrists there. That's cool. But I would still go the Marcus Akesson uh, one from last season. Look at that. Is That's the t-shirt, isn't it? I'm pretty sure that's a t-shirt. Look how oversized that is. That's crazy. Like, I thought the Uniqlo tees were oversized with them coming down to where the elbow is. Look how far that comes down. That's like a three-quarter sleeve. That, that is huge that is huge but i love it i love that fit and the artwork on the front i mean it's more passable for me i think it's okay but i like the fit of that top that's crazy uh the pants yeah they're not too bad i just know that i can never fit into like designer pants so i always skip over the pants but the upper 
that T, that top, the, I'm, they're probably going to call it a long sleeve. That's dope. I think that's dope. Yo, look at the black one. That's crazy. I love that. That's cool. I want that. You know, you normally with the artist collaborations, I'm after the outerwear. Nah, the tops this season are hitting. That's where it's at. We've got a hoodie. I love like the oversized sleeves. Look how wide they are. Look at how they just flow like all the way down. But I really like those tops. Man, those tops were hitting. I still would like this hoodie. This is a nice hoodie. But man, I, yeah, look 41 and look 40. I'm coming for those tees, man. Those tees are sick. Uh, the hoodie as well on look 42. I like it. I like it. Oh, that jacket as well, which looks reversible. I like this jacket. This is very nice as well. We've got a long sleeve, like an actual long sleeve. We can see the cuffs there. Like it is a, officially a long sleeve tee. That one I don't vibe as much. That one looks kind of boring. Eh, I'm not really into it. Definitely this uh, short, well, I can't even call it a short sleeve, but this like, this combination of short sleeve with those huge like kimono sleeves, that's dope. That's really sick. Uh, oh yes okay this coat this coat is dope yeah okay that's dope and with the detachable hood you know i'm detaching that hood <laughs> i i i like my jackets without hoods i would detach that but i'm glad that june takahashi gives me the option to detach it if i wanted to i would detach it but uh yeah that's a sick ass jacket the jacket in look 45 with the, with the collaboration that's where I'm at. That's where I'm at. Oh, and the sweater variation. That's dope as well. That's really dope. I like that. Damn. Yeah, and that hoodie's nice as well. Yeah, okay. Okay, I'm going to say the spring summer 2022 season, for me, my favorite pieces were the collaborative pieces with uh, Manabu Detto. I like the hoodies. I like, I love these t-shirts. These t-shirts, crazy. I love the fit of them. Look how big they are. I want them. Give me all the size fives. Uh, uh, the trench coat, if it goes on sale. <laughs> if I find it on sale, yeah, okay. Okay, I'll pick it up. <laughs> uh, oh, and the sweat, yeah. Like the, all the collaborative pieces, really sick. I'm definitely coming for those this season. Uh, I like the Air Force Ones, more specifically in the white, but I'll never be able to wear those. The East Pack stuff, I was only feeling the grey sweater, but, uh, you know, that's fine. I wasn't a huge fan of it last season, but yeah, that's okay. Uh, the rest of the season, um, I like this hoodie. This hoodie jacket combo is cool. If it comes at a good price, I'll pick it up. The problem is, is that these transformative pieces where technically you get multiple pieces... Uh, in one deal they're always really expensive so yeah I'll have to just keep my eyes and ears out I really like this green and brown color though it is actually warming up to me more we have what else was there the basic sweaters the knit sweaters are really nice I like the fit of them they look really oversized but it's because these guys are like 40 kilos less than me so this would not look as big when I wear it <laughs> but I mean it would still be pretty oversized so I'd still get around it uh I like the zip sweaters here if they come for a good price I'd like to pick those up a lot of the overcoats are really cool the material choice was uh looked really lightweight I don't know what they're technically made out of oh this hoodie was really sick as well really like this hoodie this one was cool how it's like a sweater mixed with a hoodie mixed with like an MA1 bomber jacket with the pocket here uh, it zips on the front, like there's so much going on, but I really like that. Again, I wish they didn't have the graphic on it though. Uh, that was a cool button up tee, I like that. Um, that was, this silhouette was used in the spring summer 2020 season, in Cindy Sherman season, I'm pretty damn sure. Uh, don't quote me on that though, I'm sure there's bigger undercover lovers out there that'd be able to correct me on that one. The trench coat here with the uh, very breathable transparent material is dope. Uh, I just hope it's not super expensive. Oh, and the kimono jacket. Look, man, if that kimono jacket comes around for like a good price, I might do it to myself. <laughs> like, if it comes along, I I'm not going to say no. <laughs> 
because that's dope. That looks like I can just imagine just chilling in it. Ivan, ah, oh, it's gonna be so good. That'd be so good. Yeah. Uh, all in all, I mean, I initially, as I was going through it, I was like, nah, I'm not that kid. Like, it's okay. It's okay. But now that I'm like reflecting on it, going back through it all, nah, there's more here. That, like, I could see myself picking up a few pieces from this season. Uh, the color scheme is quite nice. Uh, I like the color choice of the pieces that they did for the fall winter season last year more, the 2021 season. But, you know, the colors are still nice in here. The silhouettes look nice as well. And yeah, I mean, all in all, I still think this is going to be a good season. Uh, I'm more of a fall winter guy when it comes to undercover, but there are some nice spring summer pieces here. The uh, contemporary artist collaboration right at the bottom, I'm definitely coming for. Like, I'm got my eyes out for that. Uh, but yeah, wow. I'm gonna have no money. 2022, the year of me being broke because of undercover. <laughs> yeah, what a dope. Ah, oh, man, I love that, like, that Crinex sweater. Oh, I want that Crinex sweater. Damn. Yeah, okay. Wow. Wow, I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts on it. Do you like the lookbook for this season? Do you like any of the individual pieces this season? What are your thoughts and opinions? I am a fan of the uh, Manu Manabu Detto collaboration. Uh, I went through everything that I liked, but I'm definitely keen on a couple pieces. It isn't my favorite season that I've seen. I still am unsure on what my favorite season would be, but this one definitely didn't knock off whatever I would put it on uh, my favorite season. It didn't blow me away, but there were a lot of pieces here that were cool. A lot of pieces that I'd be interested in picking up. Uh, I'm very keen to see it be released this year, and hopefully I can pick up a lot of the pieces that I want from it uh, this year. We will just have to wait and see, guys. But uh, yeah, I'd love to hear any thoughts and opinions that you have on the lookbook, on any of the pieces that are showcased here, uh, down in that comment section below. Well, that is really there is to say about it. Lots to say, obviously. <laughs> there are 47 looks. There are lots of heavy hitting pieces. I never really touch on the pants or the shoes because I'm too big for both of those areas. I mean, one of them I could eventually fit in, hopefully, which is the pants, but the shoes, I mean, they're extra large for undercovers shoes is like a size US, like 11 or 12. And well, I'm not fitting into that anytime soon unless I lose like a third of my foot size. <laughs> so yeah, uh, I, I can only really realistically look at the upper half and sometimes the pants, but in this spring summer 2022 season, the pieces that I'm most interested in, it's of course going to be the outwear, but for the first time ever, I've been super keen on a top, and it's obviously the collaborative top that we covered towards the end in the 40s uh, looks, because that shape, bonkers, it's crazy, it's like, oh my god, ah, <laughs> um, when does this all drop, when does the spring summer 2022 ready to wear men's stuff drop? who knows you're just gonna have to wait on instagram and see when undercover posts there or follow a bunch of japanese boutiques because whenever the ready to wear stuff ships out the japanese boutiques get it first who would have thought the japanese brand gives the japanese boutiques the stuff first and then eventually it makes its way into the international boutiques so i mean you'll probably hear from me because i'll probably be uh trying to pick something up <laughs> as soon as the ready wear, ready to wear stuff comes out but yeah i'll try and keep you posted as much as i can that's everything i really have to say about the lookbook the night collaboration was cool the east pack collab was eh, not for me the uh artist which i've forgotten their name already that stuff was dope uh and just the seasonal stuff as well at the start the uh coats and stuff like that were really sweet so i'm gonna have to keep my eyes peeled but I'd love to hear uh, what kind of pieces you'd be looking to pick up from this spring summer 2022 season. Let me know down in that comment section below. And of course, if you guys want me to keep covering upcoming undercover seasons, lookbooks, whatever, let me know what you want to cover or want me to cover down in that comment section below. If you want to see more content like this, don't forget to leave a like on this video. And of course, the best indicator you can give me is a subscribe to the channel. Uh, I'm trying to hit 2,000. What are we trying to hit? No, 2,000, 3,245 subs. <laughs> I definitely do not want to hit 2,000. <laughs> Hopefully, with your guys' continuous support, 
uh, we can reach 3,245 subscribers before the end of January. Well, that is everything I have to say about Undercover's Spring Summer 2022 Once in a Lifetime lookbook, guys. So until the next Undercover video, until the next Streetwear Talk video, until the next Drop List video, I'll catch you later.